next topic we are going to see is about x-rays okay so in this we'll just see with what is the discovery of x-rays how it has been discovered how the production of x-rays and all those first discovery of x-rays Willem Rongen in 1895 discovered that whenever fast moving electrons fall on certain materials highly penetrating radiations is being emitted so consider that any fast moving electron so this is a fast moving electron this is stri striking any material okay so this is a material which is being considered when this fast moving electron strikes a material a highly penetrating radiation is being emitted so or highly penetrating radiation emit since the origin was not known at the time they were called as x-rays we'll just consider that name to be x some rays with no origin adanal x rays abdin solittaanga okay then the x rays are electromagnetic waves of very short wavelength edoda wavelength endu romba short it is of value 0.1 to 100 armstrong so 0.1 la 100 armstrong na adoda wavelength irukum abdin solittaanga then they travel along the straight line with a velocity of light so idu enna aguna they will be moving in a straight line adoda velocity vandu equal to the velocity of light and they are not affected by electric and magnetic fields so these are all the properties of x-rays okay so they are not affected so electric field sari, illana magnetic field sari, agadu, affect agadu, they'll be moving in straight line okay then x-ray photons are highly energetic so x-ray photons are clear so on x-ray photons they are highly energetic and because of its high frequency or short wavelength either all the high frequency on wavelength when the short hour okay so it has a high frequency and short wavelength okay therefore they can pass through materials which are opaque to the visible light so visible light pass the opaque objects this x-rays will be passing we know that this x-rays can pass through even our flesh is it not which is opaque to the visible light okay then next is the quality of x-rays is measured in terms of their penetration power so evlo alavukku adu penetrate agudho adu vachida adoda quality depend aagum appdin solranga which depends on the velocity with which the electron strike the target material and also the atomic number so evlo velocity la adu vandu target material strike pannudhu appdin rad vachida en aagum we will just find out with the quality yes then next is the intensity is dependent on the number of electrons striking the target so, yeah. so ethana number of electron target la strike agudho adu vachida intensity is being dependent intensity is how bright the light is okay that depends on the number of electrons okay so this is about the discovery of x-rays so discovery of x-rays la first or highly penet highly moving radiation adu vandu target la strike agumbodhu we are producing the rays and the rays ka peru da x-rays appdin solittu these are all said to be the properties of x-rays okay properties of x-rays can be asked separately as three marks also okay so properties have been sold to Tania only could declare so these are all the properties of x-rays they travel in straight line they are highly energetic they can pass through the opaque objects so these are all the properties clear so next is we are going to see about the production of x-rays in this the x-rays are produced in an x-ray tube which is essentially a discharge tube okay so x-rays are not going to tube produce agudhu okay x-ray tube la and the x-ray tube kena solrom or discharge tube nu solrom okay first the filament f is heated to incandescence by a battery so inge da or filament f and the filament f ena pandrona or a battery mulama so here we are using with the battery and we are going to heat it okay as a result electrons are emitted from it by thermionic emission so idhil enna agum namalukku electrons vandu emit agum okay so these electrons what happens is it moves in this way inge vandu in the filament ku in the target ku nadula ena irukku or high tension battery irukku and the high tension battery nala enna aguna inda electrons vandu accelerate agum okay so inge endu produce agu electrons vandu accelerate so accelerate enna agum fast ah move agum seriya so abdi fast ah move aayite namalukku inge enna irukku or target irukku illaya so and the target mele or fast moving electron vandu strike agumbodhu enna produce aagudhu abdina or rays produce agum illaya so nam adha first day paathom 
okay so and that rays are called as a x rays okay so see here so these are the fast moving electrons when it strikes this target we are producing with this x rays okay so the electrons are accelerated to a high speeds by the voltage applied between the filament and the anode then the target material like tungsten molybdenum are embedded in the face of copper anode the face of the target is inclined at an angle with respect to the x rays okay so x rays eppadi vandu velumo aduke etha mari adu vandu inclined at some angle okay then x ray spectra okay so spectra means they are there are different types or different categorized okay so the x rays are produced when fast moving electron strikes the metal target idu namak theriyum illaya fast moving electron vandu target la strike aagumoda x rays produce aagudhu then the intensity when it is plotted against the wavelength it gives a curve and that is called as a x ray spectrum okay so intensity yum wavelength um adhe mari intensity yum wavelength um namma vandu graph varanjom appadina adukku peru da enadhu x ray spectrum okay so if you are going to draw the graph between the intensity and the wavelength okay that gives a x ray spectrum okay then the x ray spectrum consists of two parts continuous spectrum and series of uh, peaks which is superimposed on it okay so this are the continuous spectrum so it has a series of peaks okay we can have it as tungsten to be the target okay next is when you have the tungsten at 35 kilo volt we can see that it has a maximum peak for only one value okay and that is said to be the characteristic spectrum okay so first is the continuous spectrum consists of radiation of all possible wavelengths certain minimum to the maximum okay so adha first graph la paathom okay so minimum la the maximum varaiyum namalukku all possible wavelengths ella possible wavelength lume namalukku vande irukum that is continuous spectrum okay so the peaks are the characteristics of the material and hence they are characteristic spectrum so namalukku peaks da vande oru material oda characteristics abindradunal adukku peru enadhu characteristic spectrum okay then this first diagram depicts that x rays are accelerating at various voltages and in the second one we can say that for a particular voltage so idula pathinga namalukku vandu different voltage irukum 30 40 50 appdin so different voltages irukum while when you see for the second graph we have only one voltage which is 35 kilo volt mattum da irukum okay va so thus classical electromagnetic theory suggests that the emission of radiation from the accelerating electron it could not explain the featured x ray spectrum these pictures are given below so or emission of radiation vande namalukku x ray spectrum kudukadu appdi solliranga for a given voltage the lower limit of wavelength is same for all the target so and the wavelength ku per da ana solranga na cut off wavelength so or certain wavelength vande epdi irukum ella target kume same a irukum and the wavelength ku per enadha na cut off wavelength then next is intensity is increased at well defined wavelength in the case of characteristic x ray spectrum for molybdenum so molybdenum pathina adoda intensity eppadi irukku it is well defined so same value va dhan irukum that gives the characteristic x ray spectrum okay so we'll just see with the continuous and characteristic x ray spectrums first when a fast moving electron penetrates and approaches the target nucleus the interaction between the electron and the nucleus either accelerates or decelerates it which results in the change of path of the electron so inga parunga in the electron ipdi ulla varudha so ipdi ulla varumbodu in the target nucleus ku in the electron ku nadula irukra enadhu or interaction so interaction between the electron and the nucleus so in the electron ku nucleus ku nadula irukra and the interaction nala ena agum either it accelerates or decelerates accelerates na fast ah move panna vekkum illa na slow ah move panna vekkum so adoda target vandu ipdi poga vendiyada ena paniruna idoda path maathi inda pakkama poga vechirum okay so it changes its path okay so normal ah poga vendiya path ah vida adha enna pannu adha vandu adoda path vandu change panni vittrom okay so that gives you the continuous x ray spectrum okay so the radiation produced from such decelerating electron is called as a brems 
டாக் லங் ஆர் பிரேக்கிங் ரேடியேஷன் ஸோ இதனால் ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஆகி வர ரேடியேஷன் okay so that is called as a breaking radiation then the energy of photon emitted is equal to the loss of kinetic energy so evlo energy namalukku emit a irukko that is equal to what the loss in the kinetic energy okay since electron may lose part or all of its energy the electron the photons are emitted with all possible wavelength so this continuous spectrum is due to the such conditions so continuous spectrum ellame edanala due because of the change in the kinetic energy nalada yes clear so when this when an electron give all of its energy then the photon is emitted with the highest frequency so electron vande adoda full energy kudutadhu appadina will get a photon okay and it will have the highest frequency new not appo eppadi irukum wavelength vand lowest ah irukum lowest wavelength lambda not okay then the initial kinetic energy is given by ev okay so kinetic energy is given by ev where v is a voltage and so we have this h nu is equal to ev okay this photon of energy is equal to the kinetic energy yes now how can you write this nu because the formula for nu is equal to c by lambda okay so nu is equal to c by lambda nu not is equal to c by lambda not yes from this if you need the value of lambda not which is equal to this you bring it here and ev we are bringing here and so we get h c divided by ev okay so lambda not is equal to h c divided by ev where lambda not is said to be the cut off wavelength yes and substituting all the values here h is what the planck constant which is 6.626 in 10 power minus 34 then c is the velocity of light e is the charge of an electron okay so substituting with all these values we get 12400 divided by v am strong okay 12400 divided by v am strong this gives a relation and this is it to be the duane hunt formula okay so this is duane hunt formula then the value lambda not depends only on the potential and is same for all the targets okay so the value of lambda not it depends only on the potential okay and this is good agreement with the experimental results that's the production of continuous x ray and the origin of cut off wavelength can be explained on the basis of photon theory so based on the photon theory we can explain with the continuous x ray spectrum clear so next we are going to see with the characteristic x rays the x ray spectrum shows some narrow peaks at some well defined wavelength when the target hits the fast target electron so when a fast electron hits the target what happens is there is a peak value at some some points okay the line spectrum showing these peaks are called as a characteristic x ray spectrum so what are the line spectrum which are showing this type of peaks they are called as what the characteristic x ray spectrum yes and this x ray spectrum is due to the electronic transition so this x ray spectrum is due to the electronic transition within the atoms when an energetic electron penetrates into the target atom so or energetic electron vand target atom ku ulla penetrate agum bodu enna agudana removes some of the k shell electron and we know that inside we have the different shells is it not so which is k l m and it goes on is it not so edha or electron vandute ena agudana k shell la irukra atom vandu ena panna vekkudana it makes it to come out okay energetic electron penetrates into the target and removes some of the k shell electrons so idil irund k shell electron remove panichana then the electrons from the outer orbits jumps to fill up the vacancy created so idil irund or sila electron thanagudhu in the vacancy fill pandradhukaga inge irund inge jump aayidum okay during the downward transition the energy difference is given out so inge irund ipdi pogumbodhu enagudhu some energy difference varudhu and the energy energy difference nala enagudhu namalukku wave produce agudhu that is the characteristic x rays okay such waves characteristic target constitute the line spectrum so adula nda namalukku line spectrum characteristic x rays kadaikudhu appdi solli irukanga okay so see here so these are all the constant things so this is a k shell okay so the k il irundhu if you are going to fill it from l l il irundhu nama fill pannona that is called as a 
k alpha line okay suppose if you are filling from the next one m then that is called as a k beta okay next if you are filling from n that is called as a k gamma then next older than then it is called as a k delta and it goes on okay so next shell is alpha that is called beta that is called gamma then delta so it goes on okay same way if suppose vacancy is created in the l shell okay consider that vacancy is created in the l shell that we are going to fill it from the next shell m then that is called as a l alpha line okay next from n shell that is called as a l beta line next from o that is called as a l gamma okay next l delta and it goes on okay same way next if vacancy is created in the m shell m shell la vacancy create aichana suppose it has been filled from m shell that is the next shell that is called as a m alpha next is m beta next is m gamma and it goes on okay so k series of the lines in the spectrum emitted from l m and n similarly the longer wavelengths l originates the l electron knocked out of the atom and corresponding vacancy is filled so l and the knockout it has been filled from m and o and it goes on okay so l k alpha and k beta of the k series are shown by the two peaks yes clear so this is about the continuous and characteristic x-ray spectrums thank you